storminess itself. Here's the uh, center of the storm for this one that continues to move off to the east. You'll see the uh, lightning increasing along with that system as well. There hasn't, yeah, see the field is starting to grow out there too. Uh, Brandon mentioned something very important. What's that? That just turned purple. Confirmed tornado east of Lebanon. Okay. It sure did. Confirmed tornado right here. And this is uh, that area that we were just uh, talking about in that area. Let's see if we can define where we're looking at. Here it is here. Uh, so... There's somewhat of the curvature by Mathers Mill and out by Glentown. Oh, there you go. It popped up on. And you'll notice the purple nature of this now. That means a confirmed tornado. Someone within there probably in. Second the... confirmed tornado. Well, I'm sorry. Two now confirmed tornadoes. Where's the other one? Uh, just to the south. If you pop up links too, we've got correlation oh, there coefficient. It is. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Brandon. Yeah. These two separate areas that just popped up right there. The yep. two different. Uh, confirmed tornadoes, uh, one just to the east of Lebanon, one to the west of Senior. As I bop them back and forth, you can even see uh, there was another one. Yeah, right there. There you go. Uh, right back and forth. Oh, you've got links too behind you. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. As you see the one just east of Lebanon and then another one just developed to the right south here. of that right there. Just right along what's that one highway 123 so two different confirmed tornadoes via doppler radar that is why both of those polygons just turned purple okay uh that's uh, concerning you folks all that area now you know the uh true situation of what you're under uh there are now two confirmed tornadoes um if we'll come back to uh links one thank you guys uh in and around that area so uh we're talking about these two uh, systems, these two tornadoes on the ground, apparently spotted, my guess, by uh, first responders in the Lebanon area. Now it's moving up to you folks who are in Wellman, uh, Hickoryville, Vandervert's, uh, Vandervert's Corner, and also all of this area here. Um, let's see if we can get a little rotation showing uh, across here. Doesn't, that's very interesting though. Um, okay, so um, these low-level tornadoes probably not being seen by the radar at, at present. And I'm wondering, let's see here, we're up by, yeah. Um, all right. Any thoughts, B? I'm trying to look for, let's see here. Yeah, uh, I think we're starting to see this become more of a multi-vortex system with the uh, this becoming more of a squall line with a bow echo. Oh, the apex weird. that we normally see when we get those bow echoes, if we throw this over to um, uh, reflectivity, you'll see what I'm talking about. Yep. Or you, if you throw links to behind Steve and I can loop it so he can see what I'm talking about. Go ahead. As we back this up, you see the circulation towards South Lebanon, but this storm itself it becomes more of a bow echo between the Butlerville and Clarksville area. What happens is we actually had the tornadoes develop here. What is going on is we get this rush of energy here and it's almost like the wake of a boat. Once that storm system comes here, we start to get that twirl or that whirlpool. If you think about a boat in the river and that's what we just had happen as this storm blasted west to east, we had this twisting and twirling coming through and couple it up right there.